In this video, I'm going to show you how you can click three different click boxes and have them perform a navigation function. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically Adobe Captivate, the authoring software. If you like what I'm doing here today, by all means, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with all of your e-learning buddies. I got a message from one of the viewers of my YouTube channel, and they wrote, is there a way to make multiple click box selections? So if I click three of them, they continue to jump to the corresponding slides. And I enjoy your videos, tons of help. Um, so I think I understand the request here. Let's take a look at my copy of Captivate here. I've done a single screen capture of the Windows desktop and perhaps one of the questions that you might ask a learner to perform is more of a reminder that sometimes in Windows there are three or four different ways that you can perform the same task. So here with my start button open, I started to type WhatsApp and I'm asking, click on the three spots on your desktop where you can launch the WhatsApp program. So obviously we're gonna need more than one click box. So we've got the one click box added here. I can click plus and I'll end up with another click box there, which I can place maybe over top of these options here for, for WhatsApp but we might also want to add a third option because there is actually a shortcut to WhatsApp in the taskbar here. So that takes care of the three possible ways that you might launch WhatsApp from this current desktop screen here. Now, the one thing you're gonna need to do is you wanna change the action for each of these click boxes because any one of them potentially could simply go to the next slide, and that's not what we want to do here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is select an action that really has no consequence. Like, for example, I could show click box two, which I think is the one that's currently selected there. Or I could show them all. They're already shown anyway, but it doesn't really matter. I click done, of course. Do the same thing to this one here and rather than go to next slide we could just simply show the click box has no impact it really doesn't do anything it's just going to perform an action that you know is not going to really change how your course works and for the last one there we will show our click boxes click next and done so clicking all three of these doesn't do anything let's add another slide here maybe just an introduction slide that once they've launch this, they're maybe going to go and learn about what WhatsApp can do. And they've demonstrated the fact that they can click it a number of different ways here. So what you can do in this case here, you require that they click all three. And then what do we want to have happen? Well, if they click all three, we want to go to the second slide here. So we can go to the slide level interactions, click on plus, and select objects clicked. Select all three of our click boxes. And once they've been clicked, we can go to the slide that we want to have them go to. And that's it. Let's test it out, make sure it works. Okay, here we are. So click on the three spots on your desktop where you can launch the WhatsApp program. So I could click anywhere in here. I could click anywhere in here. And if I scroll down a ways, I can click that. And of course, now it takes me to the next slide. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.